There's Philip chasing Daniel Green in Patrick Green in Sea Trucks books and Raoul Reeves in Vampire Addict Dominus books and Brothers Green Mike's book reviews of Critical Dragon Laura Lullabies It's are some of my favourite booktubers They've all done a new week, I've got views and now my time has come But what must I do to make my channel sound like a lot of fun? I could just get it big enough, people found it funny But I don't want to end up in a and there's Red Talks Books, Mercus, Spenny, Elsie, Rabbi Andrews, Whitney Reads, as Jimmy Nuts and Captain and Walter and Elliot, put by Fiend Apia. How can I do as well as all these awesome booktubers? I've just got to be me. Welcome to my book tag as a newbie. Hi guys, my name is Matt, also known as Miggins, and this is my channel Hobbit Hole Books. This is my third video that I'm putting out, and I am so excited to be here. The welcome has been incredible already, so to all my friends out there, a heartfelt thanks. It's just honestly gone beyond my wildest expectations already, so thank you to everyone that's watched, liked, subscribed, and to you guys out there that are encouraging me, you know, my humour, you guys, you're dangerous, you know who you are, you know who you are, and today I'm here to do my uh, booktube newbie tag, very exciting, so I thought I'd start off just by introducing myself a little bit, some of you guys might not know who I am, so I'll go through a little bit of info first. As I've said, my name's Matt, also known as Miggins. Don't ask, it's a nickname. I'm very excited to be here. As you can probably tell, I'm British, yeah? No, I'm joking. Yeah, I'm, I'm British from the UK and I mean, it's a pretty good country. What can I say? I live somewhere on uh, roundabout London kind of area for people that are interested. Outside of booktube and reading books, my main hobby is kind of outdoorsy, adventure kind of stuff. I've done some kind of stuff abroad and also in, in Scotland and that used to be kind of my career and that was exciting. I don't get to do as much of it now, but I've replaced it with books, which is really exciting. And any time I get to go outdoors, I just have a blast with it. Um, and also I forgot to mention my age. I'm 22, which is weird to say, because when I think about it, I always feel like I'm like two years younger than I am. Does anybody else have that? I don't know. In my, in my mind, I've always been two years behind. Anyway, that's a little bit about me. And in terms of books and fantasy, that's my main genre, fantasy. Although I do read crime, true crime, um, trying to get into horror, looking to get into sci-fi. So they'll be mainly fantasy, but... I'll be reading in my personal life and mix and match and it depends what goes on the channel. We'll see what kind of things people are interested in. Why did you start this channel? And I just started it because it was, I just wanted to have fun talking about books. That's it. Simple as guys, there's no, uh, there's no deep, deep meaning behind this one. But you know, it's, it's, it's something I've been meaning to do for a while. I've had this mic set for a couple of years and I just thought the commitment and everything, I just, I just thought it's, it's such a big deal, you know, and I watch my heroes like Philip Chase and Patrick Leo and people like that. I'll mention them more later. And I watched them and I thought I couldn't, I couldn't do, who am I kidding? I, I can't do as well as they are. But you know what? I thought, you know, forget it. I'm, I'm just going to do it for fun, right? That's what I'm going to do. I, I, I'm going to try and be consistent as much as I can. I've got a schedule that I'm going to go over later. But if I'm not consistent, if I don't get loads of viewers, I'm, I'll just do the best I can whilst having fun. And if it ever starts to not be fun, then I'll take a break and we'll see what happens. But yeah, this, this channel is just for me. So if nobody watches it, I'm okay with that. You know, I probably won't put out as much content, but also I'll do I'll do whatever I enjoy and what's fun to produce. What are some fun and unique things you can bring to BookTube? If you asked me this question the first time I recorded my newbie tag, I would have said, I don't really know, I, I'm not really bringing anything special. 
but since then I've kind of put out my bloopers and you can kind of get a sense of my kind of silly humour and people have encouraged me in that like I said you know who you are and uh, that's I feel like that's what I can kind of bring my kind of I guess it's a very British sense of humour but just me personally just kind of the things that I find funny and, and bring that into my videos and my creative flair that I've had in my past where I did drama and I wanted to get into filmmaking and so hopefully I can bring some of the the dramatic to booktube what are you most excited for about this new channel just to interact with people to share my thoughts to to do reviews to to find more people in the community to get people talking to to lift other booktubers up lift up indies but also trad published authors because you know sometimes i feel like trad publishing gets kind of demonized a bit I mean, these guys are authors that are trying to make a living just as much as indies are so i want to support everyone that i can and and you know there's not going to be any sort of really negative reviews i, I there's this trend of rant reviews i i don't really think that's my kind of thing but we'll, we'll see but i think i want to kind of stay positive and, and just kind of help be part of the community and help build that and that's what I'm excited for most and and just having a good time with it just having fun why do you love reading I love it because it's first of all it's an escape it's 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 another world especially in fantasy you can go to and you can immerse yourself in and it's, it's something that it's very cathartic and particularly in fantasy a trend right now I've noticed is to sort of use it to deal with kind of real world issues mental health social justice issues and, and that's not to say that it's put in there kind of just as a token thing it's really well thought through and it, it can be used as a tool a really powerful tool I found to to talk about these issues in a non-confrontational non-political way which in today's society is kind of really few and far between and and but I mean it's just fun like most of these answers I could just go fun 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 that's what it's about right life's got to be fun and if it's not fun then what are we doing you know we only get one life and I enjoy it because it, it, it gives me an experience you know that's why I like movies as well it's an experience and books are a different kind of experience so next question is what book or series got you into reading and this is a difficult one I guess I'll kind of explain my background a bit I was very lucky right I was very privileged as a child that I had the time my my mum in particular could be around to read to us at night and encourage us and really pushed us uh, me and my my sister as as young children to get into reading and and I remember listening to her reading The Hobbit I'm pretty sure um, stuff like that from a very early age we were very encouraged and so I was often reading from a young age and I kind of when I was a young I guess like 7 to 10 I was reading kind of like Alex Ryder books which if you're in the UK you'll know if you're not you might know there's an Amazon Prime series a movie but because of that and I'm very grateful and, and very aware that I was very privileged to get that experience I was always kind of a bit ahead in terms of reading but really where I took my own kind of responsibility was about 13 when I started to get into crime and I went through a phase where from about 13 to 15 I was reading pretty much just crime books and then also the big game changer for me in fantasy was The Eye of the World which I read at 13 and I've read it about three times since then not because I've read the whole series I'm only six books in but because it, it was that was the first big fantasy book I read. It, it took me about a year to read it, a year to read each one. I read the first three, but by the time I'd read it all, I'd have to like reread the previous book to to remember it because I was a much slower reader back then. But that was really kind of especially in fantasy, the seminal reading experience was thirteen. What got me into reading was Eye of the World, crime thrillers, and and exploring that on my own and really kind of taking ownership of that and I'll be forever grateful to the to the wheel of time and the crime books that I read around that time that got me into that what questions would you ask your favorite booktubers to be perfectly honest I'd ask them how are you so awesome how do you find the time and can I join in one of your discussions because I'll be honest I've always sat there watching going 
you know what it'd be so cool to be part of one of these in all seriousness I think you know that, that's a difficult question I think that's the kind of thing what I really like about BookTube right now is there's this kind of long form stuff going on you've got Dear Doctor Fantasy with Philip Chase you've got uh, Chatting with Nuts with Jimmy Nuts you got the uh, Mike's book reviews talking about nothing all this kind of stuff I really like that, that where you can chat about books but also about life about different things and really get to know and really build that community feel and I feel like I would ask a bunch of questions in that setting one of my favourite booktubers uh, Steve talked about books he does great content about that kind of stuff as well lots of interviews listening to him while I'm at work kind of uh, doing the tidying up in in the store and I got my one ear phone in and, and it really keeps me company I love that kind of stuff so in answer to that I there's a bunch I would ask there's a bunch too many to go into but yeah that's the awesomeness of booktube is that I've made loads of friends and I've got to know people and I've I've got loads of people to still get to know and to get to know better this this is the easy one. What challenges do you think starting a booktube channel will be the hardest to overcome? And I think it's consistency, right? I think everybody struggles with this, especially if you're working kind of nine to five. You have different um, reviewing opportunities, maybe that you've got um, that you've subscribed to, and and different commitments that you've made, and you've got family lives. I'm a little bit easier. I only work twenty five hours a week at the minute, so I get a couple of days off a week, and I've sort of built in a plan of what I'm doing um, a few weeks ahead, about a month or so ahead, and I've got a days where I can record and then in the evenings I can edit and I'm lucky my work is flexible that even on a day where I'm working, I might not work till the afternoon so I could have the morning if I needed to edit or something like that. But that would definitely be the hardest thing. And, I mean, the real hardest thing is already done, putting myself out there. I put it off for two years, and in the end, I had a video that I was happy with, and I thought, you know what, do it. I, I was going to record, like, ten videos at once and wait, and then, and then have, like, a backlog and record it and, and just put them out for weeks and not have to record anything for weeks. And you, no, no, just just have fun, put it out there, and, and see what happens. And So I'm enjoying the experience. When did you start reading very young age but really from my own kind of taking ownership from my perspective is about 13 so about nine years ago which is just crazy the time i don't know man <laughs> i can't imagine how you old guys must feel out there <laughs> not pointing at anyone in particular <laughs> where do you read well as you can see, I'm here. I'm here in my uh, grandparents' house at the minute, in the room that I'm staying in. At the minute, I'm staying in between there and my dad's until my sister moves out of my dad's. So I kind of read here or in the lounge, um, you know. But ultimately, I'd really like my own place, my own flat where I can have like I'd love a little like reading nook, like a little cubby hole. You can kind of look out the window and the lights coming through, but not too much light that you can't see properly. But you know, you know what I mean, and and then maybe like on a rainy day you get like the the rain coming down, it's nice and relaxing, or you get the sun coming in on a summer's day, and you get the breeze coming through the door, and maybe your ma's cooking some like cookies or something. You know, oh, it sounds incredible. That's that's the dream, but. I'm just practical I read even in the, my work break In, in the work um, room you know, I read wherever I can What kind of books do you like to read? As you can probably tell I'm mostly reading fantasy As I said earlier Also like crime, thrillers, true crime Action, adventure like Indiana Jones Kind of stuff Horror, I'd like to get into sci-fi a little bit Anything that's really interesting, really. Any, anything that's got emotions, that, that's got strong characterization, that's got a good uh, foundation of setting, whether in this world or another world. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm just here for good books, no matter what genre or format they come in. So, the last couple of things I wanted to do, I wanted to say thank you to some channels that have been really inspirational to me on booktube in particular so i'll just go through a list i'll link them down below so first of all i i kind of see him as the dad of booktube i don't know if you if you appreciate that but i really do 
It's it's Philip Chase and of course his his partner in crime, uh, AP Canavan, a critical dragon. Those two when they talk about Malazan, which I've only seen a little bit because I've got Gardens of the Moon ready to go. I haven't really started it yet. I kind of you'll learn about me. I'm a mood reader, so I've kind of read like the first one and a half chapters, but that was a while back because I kind of just feel like oh I'll just pick up this book today. Anyway, those two, they're, yeah, they're like the dads of BookTube, and they're so amazing. Definitely check them out if you kind of like, really accessible, but really, I don't want to make it sound like scholarly, like it's above us or something, but they're really kind of in-depth discussions of uh, lots of different fantasy books, but it's also really accessible, and that's what's great, you know, they know their craft because they're kind of professors and doctors, and they're really, really clever people, but they explain it for people like me that... (laughs) aren't quite as bright and I love those guys they're incredible of course you guys probably all know who I'm talking about here as well Daniel Green the goblin the uh, one of the OG booktubers you know enough said about him everyone loves him pretty much everyone I mentioned earlier Patrick Leo he's over at Novel Notions and that's uh, his book review site he set up and he's got his own booktube channel and he's been a really big help and him and Philip have answered some questions a couple of times on, on Twitter and been really helpful in starting up my channel so thank you to those guys Law and Lullabies another great channel I haven't watched much of the content um, as of yet but I've seen her on some of the stuff on Steve Talks books and stuff and she's been really nice when I talk with her on Twitter and hopefully I get to uh, know her and some of the other booktubers a bit more as, as time goes on Steve Talks books I've mentioned him he's a great guy he does kind of horror stuff as well and grim dark and he does book reviews but also i kind of know him really for his interviews his live shows him and pl stewart who oh my days he, he is one of the nicest guys i've ever met you know he's we've only communicated on twitter a little bit he's so nice i can't wait to get to his books and review it a drowned kingdom saga i've got the first one on audiobook uh, but he features on Steve Talks Books and yeah it's a great channel great channel another uh, friend of mine actually we've become good friends recently Andrew Andrews Wizardly Reads and he's got an amazing discord called the Wizardly Duo Discord which I'll definitely link down below great place if you're looking for a book uh, kind of community with lots of friends and get to know and talk with people about your books and you know the great thing is there's so many people there from so many different backgrounds it's, it's a really great community I'm, I'm very proud to be a part of it and also another one of the kind of OG booktubers Mike's Book Reviews Mike is great I haven't really communicated with him that much he has a discord I'll link that down below as well I used to be part of that but I don't really um, kind of interact in that but he's a great YouTube channel he does Stephen King as well so that's kind of his unique thing um, he's got some really great reviews I watched his uh, Why You Should Read Red Rising the other day fantastic Mwah. and uh, really got me hyped to get the books I want to get the tri- I want to get the box set like right now and also his Tolkien Why You Should Read Tolkien that's really good that was really good and he does these really cool kind of voiceovers at the beginning I love it I wish I could copy it but I don't want to steal his thunder Lost in Discovery Christian makes some great videos especially Stormlight Archives and some great kind of long form content as well some anime content which is really uh, cool if you're into the One Piece stuff check out his stuff it's better produced than mine so if you like my One Piece content check out his he's a great guy and yeah he's just such a nice guy Raul Reads he's a booktuber I've met recently interacted with on Twitter he's a really really fun guy really nice guy and he's got an amazing booktube channel and I'll link that down below Fan by Addict again I talked about that in my unboxing video I'll link them down below David does a fantastic job with the blog and stuff and then we've also got uh, the Oasis Discord with Bookish Benny and Ryan Cahill's The Order Discord. I'll link those both down below. Ryan Cahill, if you don't know, is the author of the Broken and the Bound series. And that is just 
phenomenal as an indie and it's taking off as a success you know it's 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 crazy and and Ryan's an awesome guy and and he hasn't let it go to his head which is great he's he's really down to earth fantastic and his books his it's just just read them guys I'll link this discords down below Benny over at the Oasis what can I say if you don't know him already you need to he's made probably one of the best book and bookish communities that's that exists lots of competitions giveaways discussions buddy reads whatever you want he's he's great there are some fantastic booktubers i've got to mention my bad the absolutely fantastic fabulous dominish books he's dom's an amazing guy he's a really great guy for shouting out indies he's got his indie showcase and same as the brothers grin They've got an awesome channel. The dad is the awesome, incomparable John Gwynn, who wrote the Faithful and the Fallen series. And also Red Talks Books. He's a new booktube channel. I'll link him down below. And, well, he's fairly new anyway. And we've been connecting on Twitter. He's an awesome guy. Check him out. Check all of them out. They're amazing. See you soon, guys. So the last couple of things is just what's coming up on the channel. Uh, so I've got... A Master Artificer review, which should come out on the 11th of May, which is going to be a combined review for Justin Cole's Kind of Silent on the God series. I'll do a spoiler free and spoiler filled section. I'm looking forward to maybe discussing with some booktubers that have read it as well at some point, maybe getting something of that going. And then on the 14th of May, uh, I'll be doing my first weekly update on my reading and we'll see how that goes and generally every week it's going to be a weekly update and some other kind of video sometimes a review sometimes a, a, a rating kind of uh, rate your books and also sometimes I've got some comedy sketch ideas that people have encouraged me with now that I've I've released my stuff and people like my humour that I'm going to look at kind of releasing those every once in a while I've also got One Piece stuff that you know as I said in my One Piece video I'm just going to be going along and and reviewing it as I go along with each arc so we'll see how often those come out but generally it'll be two videos a week and then maybe some extras so thank you very much guys for watching it's it's an honor to be here I I've, I'm loving every second of it I'm so excited to put out more content for you and all the people that I mentioned will be linked below. If you like this video, please like and subscribe. You know, or and thank you for watching. Uh, the watch hours really, really helps me. There's all the links down below to my social media, to ways you can you can help me with the channel. Um, but the main thing is, it's just thank you for watching. And if you would like to like and subscribe, then you get updates from when my videos come out. All right, see you next time, guys. Thank you.